Central Connecticut now will lift it over. Emily Kalp, Lorenzo, Skoka, and Skoka with a big time spike and kill. Near side for Cochran, tipped. Lorenzo played it. Skoka with the big block and a point for the Bulldogs. And that's a solo block there, which we haven't really seen a lot of, but that's yeah. a big play right there. Taken by Schumacher, Cochran, and just pushed over the net by Gasser. Lorenzo will set for Skoka and a big spike. Expect a timeout soon. Cochran underneath it, set, tipped over. Kalp got to it. Skoka will now set. Stoner far side. That caught tape. That's going to be a kill for the Bulldogs. Fish back near side Burgess from her heels. Gasser sets near side Cochran. Blocked point game. And that's what you want to see right there. Maria Skoka had the game. Definitely the MVP of the game right there. That was awesome. Skoka taken by Cochran. Lifted far side for King. Spike blocked. And a point for the Bulldogs is Alexandria Clyburn was the main character in that play. And a whistle and a timeout for CCSU. Blocked again by Clyburn. Chipped over into the backcourt. Skoka. Now Lorenzo for Clyburn. That's blocked. Gaffney got underneath it. Lorenzo chips it to the corner and got it in. She is so accurate with those plays that it is just not even fair. Game and match point for Bryant. Most of the crowd heading to their feet. Ashley underneath it. That'll do it. Here post game with Coach Galarsi and Maria Skoka. Guys, first off, that's the best game I think I've seen you play all season. Definitely. It was a lot of fun, and this is the first win we've had against Central Connecticut since we've been in the conference for four years, so we're really excited to, to get that win here at home. And Maria, for you individually, you had 19 points, uh, six blocks, one solo. Uh, what did you do to have success today? Uh, it really started with communication. Uh, my pin blockers were phenomenal. They read the hitters. All I, they made my job super easy. All I had to do was go to them and jump with them, and we were very successful. We worked on it all week in practice, and it was great to see the result. And coach, for you individually, that's your 400th career win. What does that mean to you? Well, it means I've been coaching a long time, I guess. <laughs> but uh, no, it means a lot. Um, it's been a great week. These guys have been working so hard and practicing so intense. It's great to see the reward come on the court, and I've really enjoyed my time. These two seniors have worked really hard in the transition of Division One, and that success is paying off now. The hard work's paying off as we, um, I think that may put us in fourth place in the conference with that win. I'm not sure what, what other results were today, but. And just kind of generally about the season, it's winding down. It seems like it's almost done after it really just got going. Uh, what are you guys doing to close out this season? And Maria, for you, closing out your career on a high note. Uh, we are giving every game, every point, everything we have. Um, I think after a rough weekend last weekend, we really learned that we really have to play together and play as a team and pick everyone up. And we're going to do our very, very best these last seven games and hopefully mess up a lot of people's conference records. Yeah, we're, like we're, peaking, we're peaking at the right time, and that's what we want to do. We didn't want to peak too early. Last year we peaked a little early, and this year we're peaking at the right time. So we're looking forward to next weekend. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, for your time. Congrats you. on the win. Thanks for the coverage. Appreciate it.